到晚上，戒严部队开始从北京的周围。That evening, martial law troops were advancing on the square from all sides. Though we couldn't see it for ourselves, we were getting reports of live ammunition being used, people getting injured. News kept coming into the square about how far the troops had come and how many people had been injured. A little after four in the morning, the student leaders reached an agreement with the martial law troops to leave the square. So we were in the road, we also met many citizens. As we were leaving, we came across many citizens who were in despair. They told us everything that had happened that evening. They described the bloodshed and scenes of destruction. It was a very painful journey for us. Behind us, there were a lot of explosions and some gas grenades landed among us. There was a lot of panic. One first-year student from our university was very scared, so we walked together. A gas grenade exploded right next to her and she fell over. I quickly picked her up, and I was trying to push her over the railing beside the road. But as I turned round, I saw a line of tanks approaching. They were travelling from east to west at high speed. By the time I saw them, they were already really close. I pushed the girl to safety, but I got knocked over. I felt my entire body getting crushed. I got dragged along for a while, then I fell off to the side and rolled next to the railing. In my last moments of consciousness, I looked down, and I could see out of the corner of my eye the white bone sticking out of my thigh. We were just ordinary students, regular citizens, who wanted to voice our desire for political reform to the Chinese government. We wanted them to get rid of corruption and bureaucracy. We wanted more freedom of press, human rights. We wanted officials to report their wealth. All reasonable requests. In many ways, they are the same demands that people are making today in China. In the 23 years since the June the 4th incident. China's corruption has got even worse. Chinese officials still don't report their wealth. China still doesn't have a free press. China's human rights record is still horrible. But we all know that Hong Kong is a very distinct region in China. They have freedom. Hong Kong people often say, "Reverse the verdict on June the 4th." In mainland China, you could never shout this out. In all of China, only in Hong Kong can you proclaim this. This is very precious, and I hope they continue to do it. Every year.